pop of pepper, the red bud, a legume, but not a nitrogen fixer. All right guys, Papa Pepper here. This is one of the apple trees that I just planted and uh, this is gonna be a small orchard here. It's gonna continue on for a little area and the plan is actually just to prune these where you can pretty much harvest them by hand for the extent of their life. So I'm gonna keep them chopped back to the point that you can always just walk up and grab the fruit rather than having to get ladders or other things like that. Now, one thing about fruit trees is that they're going to need a good amount of nitrogen in the soil. If you have too much nitrogen, what's going to happen is you're going to get a lot of growth and not as much fruit. If you've got the right amount, you're going to get a good healthy amount of fruit when you grow them. And if you don't have enough, they're not going to do very well at all. So one thing that I had been considering was taking a member of the legume family, like these red buds, and planting them just around this tree so that way um, the symbiotic relationship that the root systems of many plants in the legume family have with bacteria in the soil um, increases nitrogen. So they're called nitrogen fixing plants. Now thankfully, right before I popped these guys in, I was doing a little more research and I actually found out that red buds are one member of the legume family that actually lack that capability. They don't make the little nodules along the root system which has the potential to have that symbiotic relationship with the nitrogen fixing bacteria in the soil. So although red buds are a great plant, although they're a good food source, although they're a beautiful tree, although there's other benefits to them, for me to plant them around this tree for a couple of years, allow them to do a nitrogen fixing job in the soil, and then cut them down and just let the fruit tree grow is not going to be happening. So in case you guys are wondering, do uh, all members of the legume family fix nitrogen in the soil? No, they don't. Um, there's other things I can plant around here. Um, other types of things in the beans and peas and the uh, Austrian winter peas and different things that are going to do this do the job. I was hoping for something that would get the job done more long term, like a perennial that I could plant, leave there for a few years and then, you know, chop down, allow that to die and just let the uh, let the fruit tree grow, but red buds are not going to be the ones that are going to be doing it for me now. So Hopefully that information is helpful to some of you guys. I just learned that today. I was just about to get on this project and do one about why I'm doing it, but now I'm gonna have to find a different plant or, or a different perennial or just use some uh, annuals to accomplish the job. So, all right guys, red buds fix nitrogen in the soil? No, they don't. Pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.